Welcome on a new series which is called Kingdom Jesus Region and Lies. These are all in our channel where we discuss everything. Let's enjoy part one. Welcome. I'm no longer a Christian. <laughs> I'm now a citizen. We'll talk about that in a minute. God's original plan was never religion. We are all religious people. And I'm talking about everybody. Buddhists, Muslims, Hindus, Confucius, Scientologists, Baha'i faith, the Moonies, Unification Church. Yeah, there's a whole lot of religions. And I better throw in the part Christianity. Every human being in the world is looking for power. Every man is searching for kingdom dominion. Now this statement is loaded. And don't be ashamed of that desire. As a matter of fact, if you don't want power, something's wrong with you. Every human being, whether they live under a bridge or they live in a palace, they have the same desire. They both want power. Am I right about that? Be honest. What do you really want? Tell the truth. And don't contemplate all that religious garbage about you want to be humble and you want to you know, just serve the Lord. No, you want power. Christianity is a religion. Religion does not give you power over your environment. Religion gives you the tolerance to endure the circumstances. It makes you accept your environment without the prospect of changing it. So religion says, it's the Lord's will for you to be like this. That's religion. So it explains why you shouldn't control your environment. More steps towards the one world religion have just taken place on September 14th and 15th, 2022, with Catholicism and Islam pretty much coming together and say, yeah, we worship the same God and we're brothers and sisters, just different paths to a different God. This is all falling under the umbrella of the uniting of the Abrahamic religions, Judaism, Islam, and Christianity, of course, but not the real Christianity. It's Catholicism that's being united under this one world religion. House being built in Abu Dhabi where there's religious, it's a religious center for Catholics, Muslims, and Jews to all come together and worship all through the Abrahamic religions there at this one thing. As you can tell, they're not saying here at these at these events that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, the Messiah, the only way to heaven, because that would contradict Islam and Judaism. So it's it's uniting, everybody's giving up the truth here. They're all just coming together to get along to give up the truth, which is that salvation is found through Jesus Christ alone. Meet the real Jesus Christ, a man who speaks to God directly. <laughs> He is the owner of this church, and these 12 men you see here are his disciples. It cannot be a full Jesus Christ story if there are no disciples involved, and this man seems to understand this logic perfectly. He is always surrounded by 12 men he calls his disciples, and they are proud of their status. If you read the Bible, you will be familiar with their names. These are the descendants of Jacob, starting with Reuben, Prophet Simon, who is second. We have Levi, Prophet Judah, Prophet Dani, Prophet Naphtar, we have Gadi, Asher, Issachar, Zebulon, we have Joseph, and Benjamin. All of them as you see them here. They are anointed by God, and I chose them myself as well. He is a happy man now with a wife and eight children, including five sons and three daughters. <laughs> Hundreds of people have been trooping to Makweni County for the last one week after news came that an impression of blessed Mary, mother of Jesus, holding a baby had appeared on a stone in a mountain there. Well, residents of Kadeka village in Makweni County claim that Jesus, Jesus rather, and his mother Mary have been in the village for one week. Well... Now, according to residents of Katheka village in Makueni County, the son of man is back with a bang. They say he arrived here a few days ago, accompanied by his mother Mary, and that the two later engraved themselves on this rock in the form of a mother holding tightly to her baby. 
a sin which they say is reminiscent of this Jesus during his younger days nimethibitisha ni ukweli sababu ukiangalia na macho wewe uziona lakini ukiangalia na camera unamuona hizo za nimethibitisha ni ukweli Residents here say although the son of man appears to have visited them in his least expected state his arrival here is a sign of many more good things to come and they want the county government to be the first to welcome Jesus here Tunaomba kama inawezekana serikali ya Makueni County ikuye yaangalia vile mambo iko na ijenge kitu kama sherehe kama pale sumbukia na kombo kama rocks ndio watu wakuja wakitoka mbali wanakuja kuhubiri hapa mimi naomba kanisa ya Catholic enyewe sababu hiyo hiyo ni ni mambo ni ya ni ya ukoya hiyo aje watengeneze haya mahali pawe ni mahali ya kuombea Mungu Nigerian man Omowale Isaac has shocked many by claiming that he is Jesus Omowale says he will successfully vie for the presidency in the country he says as soon as he ascends to presidency Nigeria will change her name to the new Jerusalem Omoale <laughs> says his mission is to let the whole world know that Jesus Christ is back let's take a look today I am appearing to the whole world as the one and only son of God expected back to life and I come in the new name of God as documented in the only living book the holy bible revelation what i am trying to say is that i repeat i am the awaited jesus christ isi ilikuwa mwaka wa 1960 jova alisimama kitale akapika frimbi tulipokusanyika kwake alituambia mimi ni mungu wa Ibrahimu na Isaka na Yakobo kabla ibada kuanza na mwamkuu wa Jehova wa nyonyi na kusema naye mawili matatu ikindi cho chumba chake ambacho yeyote kuingia ndani ni kama kujaribu kumpitisha ngamia kwenye tundu la sindano mimi ni Jehova mwenye enzi Mungu wa nyonyi muumba wa pingu na ingi na pale na vile 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 ambapo naona vile mtembea vinasimama mimi ndio niliumba tunarifiwa na mmoja wa wake zake kuwa Jehova hula vyakula vya kawaida na kamwe hataga dunia. Unajua mwili yenye yako nayo hii ni ya binadamu. Lakini roho yake si ya binadamu. Sasa roho ikikaa kwa mwili hutakufa tena. Na unajua sasa sasa hii Jehova bila amekaa hivi, yeye ndiye amekuja kupikania mwanadamu sasa ukue ukue hai kabisa milele na milele. Jehova wa nyonyi, mengi amesema mabaya na mazuri kumuhusu, lakini yeye anasema anasalia kwa Mungu wa binadamu wote dunia nzima. Na kwake sikio kama inapokuja atachuja walio wazuri na wasio wazuri. Anauliza je utakuwa wapi? He the man whose life was shrouded in controversy and so was his death. A mortal man who had convinced his followers that he was the almighty God, Jehovah himself. But his disappearance since mid last month has left his followers in limbo, not knowing whether Jehovah had ascended to the heavenly throne or had suffered the fate of mortal men. Kesho yake tarehe 19 walienda wakachukua mwili. Lakini sasa penye walipeleka mwili hatujui. His followers are still in denial, maintaining that Jehovah Nyonyi will soon reappear. Wanyonyi had claimed that Jesus Christ was his son. Kando na nyumba hii iliyofichwa kiustadi katikati ya shamba la ndizi, tunapata kaburi ambalo walinzi wake ndiposa walikuwa wameondoka kwenda kujipatia cha jio jioni ile. Ni kaburi la Jehovah Michael Wanyonyi, kiongozi wa the hebu la the lost Israelites. Watu wakakuja wakaongea mambo yake na wakasika sasa baadaye kwa siku kadhaa tulitukuja tulikuja kusikia maneno kuwa huyu ndiye alikuwa anaitwa Jehova wa nyonyi ilikuwa usiku wakaka hapa wakafanya vitu yao juice walitengeneza kondoo wengine wa kukulia hapo wakaenda wanakujanga usiku lakini sielewa natoka saboti ama wapi si simuelewi wanatueleza kuwa badala yake watu walioleta mwili wake wa nyonyi walifika hapo saa za usiku baada ya kuchukua mchana kutwa kutafuta mahali pa kununua kipande cha ardhi kwa shughuli hiyo mimi waliambia huyu ni mfuasi wa Jehova wako niambie ni Jehova 
wakaniambia huyu ni Jova alikuwa ameenda ku, kuangalia msituni huko sisi wapi huko washingishwa alikuwa ameenda kuangalia Jova kurudi na yeye anakufa sasa huyo Jova atiachakufa lakini sisi vile tulisikia kuna pipi ya kijana yake kule alikuwa anaeleza ni Jova ni wazi na bayana kuwa kweli Jehova Michael Wanyonyi aliugua akafa na kuzikwa kwa siri kuu ambayo sasa KTN leo imeifichua na kuitoa wazi The man who claims he is Jesus Christ Only his name is Moses Moses Tongwane But he says like his namesake he has spent years in the wilderness and has been resurrected as the son of God No I will never die as God gave me as a command. Shongwane's beliefs are already attracting a following. One of his disciples is 84-year-old Paul Subia. He says he and many of those living in the compound are on government grants. Subia gives his entire monthly pension to Shongwane. Another of the disciples is 14-year-old Mfihlaga Lombata. She dropped out of school in grade 6 and is now tasked with recruiting other pupils. Like all of Tlongwana's followers, she is convinced he is the son of God. The disciples say their mission is to get the whole world to acknowledge Tlongwana as the legitimate Jesus Christ. Uh, it's me, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, Prince of Peace, Michael, and uh, I was born uh, by my spirit in Fedon, Jerusalem. This is the message Emmanuel Solomon Semakula has been giving the people of Nakaseke for the last six years. Semakula is the leader of a cult in Tongo village, Kapeka sub county in Nakaseke district. He claims he was born by the Holy Spirit. They will hate you for my name is sake. The name is heavy when you carry it. So that's why you see that. Ah, uh, truly, I am Jesus Christ. Semakula and nine of his followers have been detained at Chuwoko police post in Nakaseke district. Police say he has cooned several people using the cult and continuously denies his followers access to medication and cooked food. However, his followers confess that he is Jesus Christ. I prepare them for the second coming of my dad because he's coming any time and, and I am his son first choosing the 144,000 who are sealed by God himself. Vihiga County is renowned for its scenic rocks but there is one that stands out in Gevere village Mazigulu. The residents believe that Jesus actually walks there and left his footprints on that rock and that's not all. Another rock in the shape of a coffin lies only a few yards away and the residents also believe it's carved itself. What is this rock in Gevere Mazigulu landscape that inspires a conviction among some people? They believe that Jesus visited Mazigulu. He walked and left his footprints. Christo alikuja, akaweka migu yake hapa, na akafanya mamba yake hapa, e, migu yake ilikuwa hapa, e, mikono yake yikuwa hapa. Kwa sisi tumebarikia watu wa Mazigulu. Maandiko ambayo iliandikuwa hapa, wazungu walitoka ngambo wakaja kuyasoma. Na wakati wazungu walikuja kusoma, E, wa, mwaka zamani za kale alafu wazungu walipoangalia wakaona hawafahami na tena hawaelewi hiyo wakajaribu kutoa hiyo maandiko na na, na, na vichuma ili waweze ku, ku, kuenda kusoma huko kwao ni kiburania ama ni kiyunani ama ni kiroma kwa sababu ni kitu cha ajabu sana hiyo haiwezi kuwa kazi ya binadamu kwa sababu jiwe Haliwezi kuyeyuka, wewe binadamu useme utaandika kitu juu. Something very interesting happens, regardless of your foot size, the minute you step your foot inside the footprint, it somehow morphs into your exact foot size. Yards away, another rock lies here. It looks like a coffin and it is believed that it carved itself. Four clothes surrounding it isn't as ancient, traced to a dead body that was left here, and the rock carved itself to hold the body. Ni kama kuliwekwa kitu kama sanduku. Sasa ndugu yangu mmoja alikuwa anaitwa Kamau hapa 
alikuwa ameonesha tena pia katika roho kwamba hapa chini wakichimba watapata mafuta mafuta kama kerosene sasa hiyo jiwe limechongwa vizuri sana ni kama sanda sasa watu huwa mpaka naangalia wakitazama hapa wanakwenda tena wanatazama kwa hiyo jiwe inakuwa ni mambo ya ajabu my case is that Pontius Pilate who tried Jesus Christ had no jurisdiction a Kenyan lawyer believes those responsible for the crucifixion need to answer for their crime 2000 years later he also says Pope Francis is aware of his case and that some of the Vatican support it few Kenyans do though like Jesus died for sins right it was a must right, right. so that's it so it's just what do I call it? Nonsense. Yeah, that's the word. I think that it, it won't make any difference. Like it happened like so many years ago. Yeah. I think uh, it's ridiculous. First, because clearly there won't be any compensation. And that should be the main aim for seeking legal justice. Uh, so since the Jesus family won't be compensated, the Christians would be, won't be compensated. So I think that's just a waste of time. And... Uh, uh, biblically speaking, religious-wise, I think that was something that was bound to happen and no legal justice should be sought. Dola indeed is insists Jesus Christ suffered gross violation of human rights and for that justice must be done. The way he was made to die was not lawful. Jesus should have been put on trial. But he was not put on trial. In addition, he argues that it is a founded principle of law that once an accused person is found innocent, they should be acquitted. That wasn't the case with Jesus as told in the Holy Book. This thing happened, I mean, 2,000 years ago. Yes, Everybody who was involved is already dead. Who are you suing? How that will you serve? The government for whom they acted still is answerable for their work. Pontius Pilate was working under the, the, the government of Rome. Uh, who was, uh, which was headed by, uh, by Caesar. Your pursuit of this case makes one wonder whether you're in the right state of mind. Actually, people find it insane. You see, it's, it's normal for human beings when they do not understand something to say the other fellow is mad. That's what, uh, when one day somebody said the world is round, he was said he was, he was mad. You remember the one? Yeah. 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 Even Archimedes had the same problem. So you, when, when, you want to, when, you want to take, when you take a course which you believe is right, Somebody should not discourage you because he does not understand it. That's what I'm saying. You are suing as a friend of Jesus of yes. Nazareth. Yes, I'm suing as a friend. When he died, he was not given an opportunity to be heard, and no one speaks for him. The registrar of the International Court of Justice has apparently formed a pre-trial panel to study his petition and decide whether the matter should proceed to trial. If you know Jesus loves you, wave your hand, I Come on, enjoy yes, wana kupenda ni pungiemko. If you know God really loves you, wave both of your hands, nice. Come on, enjoy mungu wana kupenda panya miko ni yako mwili. If you know God has the best plan in your entire life for you, jump. Kitengela Crusade. Uh, pakatika, uh, crusade ya